Hi, everyone. I'm finally feeling better. I thank you guys for your patience. Um, if you are in that energy group, and I think a lot of you are, if you're going through all the crazy timeline shifts, like you're not sure what's happening with the timelines, um, you just feel kind of lost and confused. It feels like things are changing on a daily basis, like you're all over the place. You may be in that energy group. So I would go back and check that reading that I posted about a week ago because that's there's some very important information about what's going on with the timelines. It is a very long reading, but it's you know worth knowing, um, especially if you're psychic or if you're a witch or if you're spiritual. It's really important to understand these lower vibrational energies that are around us right now and what's going on with that. So anyway, I'm going to get into another storyline though. Please remember that I channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not resonate with you. Only take it if it resonates. Never try to force it to fit. What's happening here? So for this energy group, what's going on? <clears throat> I'm still a little bit stuffy, but not nearly as bad as I was. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, Strength... Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords, the Star. The Ace of Cups. I had to pause the video to, uh, to ask my pendulum if it is what I think it is because there's a few different stories here. The other night... Um, I think it was Monday night, I want to say, and I put it on my Facebook page and that's like my personal page. So I don't really have like, you know, uh, people that follow me on there, but, um, I was getting uh, something about a drug addiction. Now this could be you or this could be another person. And I'm actually getting more than one message now for some, it's a drug addiction for some, it's another type of addiction. Like it could be alcohol, gambling, sex. Um, it could be an addiction, to an abusive relationship and someone's helping you out of that there's some kind of karmic cycle that's ending though and someone's being helped out of that um so for some because i'm seeing two different energies here for some you're the person that's been called to this person to help them out of this addiction you're being drawn to this person to help them from this addiction you're like their angel pretty much you're this, this light that just comes into, the, to, into their life in a dark time, this star. For others, it could be you that needs help with, you know, getting, quitting this addiction, quitting this, um, whatever this, this pattern is, this, whatever this karmic cycle is, quitting it. Someone's being sent into your life to help you out of that. So take it as it resonates. And for some, it could be both. You could be actually, because I'm getting this almost like energy right here of like what you give out, you're going to get back because I see her pouring this healing energy in and it's almost like it comes out in the Ace of Cups, like it comes out because the star is all about healing, um, renewal, hope. It's this very calming, healing energy. And it's almost like this person's pouring this in, but then it comes out in the form of love. Like everything you're you're pouring in, everything you're giving out, you're going to get it back in this form here with Ace of Cups. Um, and I was, I do feel like it's an abusive relationship for some, because when I paused it, I started hearing that song. Um, God, I forget what the band is called, but it's, do you feel like a man when you push her around? Do you feel better now? As she falls to the ground, let me tell you, my friend, one day this world's going to end as your lies come around a new life she has found. Um, it's an old like emo song, but it's, uh, you know, basically this man is like supporting this woman, helping her get out of this abusive relationship, showing her that she can have more than what she's used to. So that is the story for some of you. Uh, bear with me, though, because like I said, there's like there's a few different stories. Usually it's not so diverse like usually it's more like one main storyline but for for this it's like there's like I said there's a few different addictions there's a few different patterns so take it as it resonates if this is your energy group um I'm trying to remember what I got in that message that I posted on Monday so it was someone that had a drug addiction and I feel like it was uppers um, for the majority it's 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 almost like this person feels very lost they feel very confused 
They might not feel good enough for you. I feel like a, a very childish, immature energy. Like this person kind of got scared by the intensity of the love. And I feel like they just kind of ran. Um, like they, it's like they're self-sabotaging right now. There's a very childish, very immature, like I'm just going to run away. I can't deal with anything. Um, and it makes sense. I think this person's going through a lot. I'm I'm not judging them. I'm not judging anyone. Like I've known plenty of people who have drug addictions. I'm not judging. But it's just like it's just a very self-destructive energy, a very strong energy of self-sabotage that I was channeling. It's like this person is bored with life. This person and again, this could be you or this could be someone you're dealing with. So just take it as it resonates. Even if I say this person and you know it's you, just you know, place it how it fits. But anyway, this person is, um, I feel, I was getting like the Knight of Pentacles in that spread and the Two of Wands and then the Tower, I think it was, because the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's like loyal and stable. And I feel like this person's trying to be loyal and stable. They're trying to work towards their goals. But with the Two of Wands, it's like they're waiting for their ships to sail in. And this is someone who's very passionate. So they, they get bored very easily. They don't like having to wait for those those ships to sail in they don't like having to you know wait for good things to happen they they it's like someone who just wants instant gratification you know they're bored they're lonely they're tired of waiting this person also really lacks faith in themselves even though they really want to work towards being the knight of pentacles they want to be someone that they you know people can look up to they want to be loyal they want to be stable um, they want to be a good person. They want to do right by people. But I feel like this person really punishes themselves for things that they've done in the past. Like they they have very low self-esteem. Um, they have a lot of guilt for things that they've done in the past, things that they haven't been able to forgive themselves for. And um, I was just getting this very self-destructive energy because it's like they start working towards being that person that they want to be and then they feel like they don't deserve to be that person. It's almost like a, it's like a subconscious pattern that's going on. I don't even know. I don't think this person's like aware of it necessarily. You know what I mean? Like I think this person is probably telling themselves like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, do this upper just, you know, tonight there's, you know, I'm, I'm having a party or I'm, I'm out at a club, like whatever. It's not going to hurt anything. Like I don't, I don't think they're necessarily that deep in thought over it but it, like on a very deep subconscious level it's like this person feels like they don't deserve to be a good person it's like they feel like they don't um it's like they just they just feel like they they can't be a good person or it's like I, I almost feel like they're punishing themselves for something they did to someone specific too for some of them and so it, it's almost like they feel like they need to be Like they know that being a good person would come with happiness eventually. And I feel like it's almost like the subconscious pattern where it's like they don't feel like they deserve that happiness. They're like, no, not after what I did to this person. I don't deserve to be stable and be happy. It's like they don't know what to do when they're stable. It's like they kind of feel bored or they feel um, it's like this person's passionate, but you can have like you can party and travel and be adventurous and have that passion and good aspects without having to do hard drugs. You know what I mean? It's like, there's other ways, like you can still be passionate. You can still be out there. You can still be adventurous. You can still be all the things that you are. Um, stable doesn't mean that you have to live a boring, normal life. You know what I mean? It just means like, not like, you know, doing heavy drugs that are, you know, really bad for your health, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's like they're punishing themselves. I just, I feel like it's someone that like, I don't know if they like cheated or they did something really bad and they're like, they're like, I can't forgive myself for that. Like I have to, like they see it as like their bad karma. You know what I mean? It's like self-punishment. Anyway, their spirit guides were coming through, whoever this is for, to let that person know like, hey, you do deserve to be a good person. Like this person really just does not have faith in themselves at all. Um, and their spirit guides are trying to work with them to forgive themselves for the past, to leave the past in the past, not punish themselves for that, to really look at that. Cause right now this person's running. This person is really just running as fast as they can. They are in a very self-destructive phase. Um, 
they might even have these emotions that are being brought up in them. Um, maybe you're bringing these emotions up in them and they don't like that. It's like very triggering for them. They're like being forced to face their shadow selves. They're being forced to face all these things that they've suppressed about themselves. And they're being asked to really genuinely learn to love themselves. And it's like, they don't feel like they can do it. Um, sorry, I'm still a little bit, a little bit nasally. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say about that? Yeah, it's like their spirit guides just keep coming through and saying like, no, you do deserve this. Like you can have this. You can have love. You can have money. You can have abundance. Like you can have these good things in life. Um, it could even be someone that's like maybe even like a past life cycle or it's like they've paid the karmic debt, but they're creating more bad karma for themselves. It's like they're holding on to the bad karma because they're like, no, it couldn't be that easy. Like, I can't just move on and move to the next level of my life now. Like, they want to consciously. Like, they're they're telling themselves they're doing that. But deep down, they don't have the faith in themselves to move to that next level, to step out of their comfort zone. Um, but yeah, their spirit guides are just saying like, hey, you do deserve this. Like, you... And you can, you know, karma isn't all about, uh, a lot of people think of car about karma as like punishment, like, like the universe is out to get you. It's not like that. It's more of just a universal balance. If you learn the lessons, you can clear up the karma. So for example, let's say like in your past life or even this lifetime, you bullied homeless people. Like you were just really cruel to homeless people. You will probably end up being homeless in your next life. And it's, it's not to punish you it's not the universe trying to get revenge on you it's to show you that empathy it's to show you what that feels like to be in that person's shoes you know it's a universal balance so like yeah this person could learn their lessons through this destructive path but honestly more than anything I feel like if they go down that path they're just creating more negative karma for themselves they're just kind of going in circles they're not really growing or evolving they're just it's like they're on this loop. Um, there's other ways to clear up the karma. For most of them, I feel like the karma is already cleared or it's just about cleared. Or there's other ways like to clear it. You know what I mean? Like they could bring good to the world. They could they could do something good for society and start clearing the karma. It doesn't, they don't have to suffer. It's like this is someone that has that mentality of like, whether it's subconscious or conscious, it's like some part of them feels like they deserve to suffer, like they need to suffer, like they um, like they don't deserve to be a good person. But, you, but yeah, their spirit guides are saying, no, like you can be a good person. You can balance the karma out in other ways. Like you can have more than what you're used to. Like it's time to get out of this cycle. It's time to move past this. Like, like you do deserve more than you know, what you've gotten used to. It's almost like imposter syndrome, tr syndrome too, where it's like when they start becoming a good person, it's so strange. It's like they doubt themselves. They're like, no, that that's not me that I must be faking it. Like they, it's like they have this empathy, but maybe they're not used to having empathy because they've suppressed their empathy or they've suppressed their emotions for so long that when that empathy comes up, they're like, wait a minute, like I don't, maybe I'm faking it. Like maybe this isn't me. Like they're, they're not used to it, but it, it's their soul coming through. It's their soul coming through and being like, no, this is you. You are a much deeper person, a much more empathetic person than you even realize. Um they've gotten used to what society paints them as they've gotten used they might have certain labels that people have given them and they they resonate with those labels at this point um like very superficial labels and they're like yeah that's me that makes sense um Yeah, they can be whoever they want to be. That's what this person needs to know, that they can be who they want to be. They can, they are an empathetic person deep down. They're just not used to all those deeper emotions, but there's, there's something more, their soul is trying to come through. There's something more in store for them if they choose to go down a higher path and not a karmic path, not the lower karmic path. Uh, the other message I was getting for some is that they might also have friends that enable them. And we're going to get more into it. Just bear with me. Sorry, I'm still nasally. Like I, I'm not really sick anymore, but I'm fighting a sinus infection a little bit. So, um, 
They might have friends that enable them because they want to control them or because they have fun together. Like, let's say they're doing uppers or something. Like, maybe this person knows, like, where to get the uppers from. And they don't want to lose that connection if this person quits doing drugs. Or it's like they um, they're, they don't know... I feel like they just have toxic people that hold on to their energy. It's like they have these, I don't know if it's like psychic vampire types, but it's almost like their soul is being suppressed. It's almost like on some, and it's not, I don't think it's on a conscious level, but on some level, I feel like some of their friends even, even get that there's, I feel like they have shallow friends and I feel like they almost want this person to be shallow with them or just... <laughs> It's almost like they sense that there's more to this person. There's They sense that there's more intelligence, more emotional depth. There's just that little glimmer of that, that there's something more. And these toxic people don't want this person to grow and evolve and leave them behind. You know, they want to enable them. They want them, they want to keep this person at their level. They don't, they can't rise to this person's level. If this person were to get clean from the drugs and actually really tune into their intuition, like really go down a spiritual path, and you can still party and travel and have fun and be passionate and outspoken and do all of that and still be spiritual, you know, don't let anyone tell you otherwise, like you can have all of it, but it's just like toxic addictions, like hard drugs and stuff that need to be, you know, looked at here or um, suppressing emotions, you know what I mean? Like not being vulnerable or, or having to be fake around people. It's things like that that are trying to be cleared up. So it's like this person would become even more of who they truly are and who they want to be if they were to leave that energy behind. And some of them, like I said, they're so used to being around those shallow people that they feel like they're one of them. So it's like their soul is trying to come through and they're like, well, that's not me. But like, no, it is you. That, that's, that's your deepest self. That's your, the true you that you've been out of touch with for several months or years. Um, so it's almost like they've been brainwashed into thinking that they're one of these shallow people. And so they're like, well, I don't want to like change. I don't want to, I don't, I want to be myself. And it's like, that, that was never you. The person you've been pretending to be the last few years or however long it's been, that was never actually the true you. And I think, you know, if, if this is you, you know that deep down. But, um, but yeah, these people like enable them. It's like for whatever, and they have different reasons for some it's money for some, it's like they have like a connection. They know a supplier, um, for others it's control. I, again, I feel like they don't want this person to evolve and grow without them. Cause they do sense that there's more to this person. They sense that there's more potential to this person, and um, these people around them are too are, are just too shallow to be able to, if this person changes and becomes their true self, these people around them are too shallow to be able to catch up to that, to um, like this person's more intelligent than them. But these people don't want them to know that. They want them to think that they're at their their IQ level, their level of depth, their, they, they want to keep this person in this comfort zone. There was a warning in that in that message that I got to that I did where it was like uh that I posted on Facebook it was like um what was it God I want to say it was like a there was something I don't know it was like Monday night I was like damn like if someone does drugs Monday night it's not gonna go well I don't know who I don't know hopefully it got to whoever it was meant to go to but it was like there could be um like a fight or an overdose, or it's like maybe just maybe someone like relapsing, maybe someone was trying to not do drugs, and then they give in because they're bored. Um, but yeah, you're being asked to believe in yourself more. And I know it's easier said than done. But you're being asked to recognize like to forgive yourself for the past to recognize that you really can work towards being the person that you want to be. It is going to feel scary and uncomfortable and unfamiliar, but you don't need to stay in your comfort zone. You know what I mean? Like you have to push yourself out of your comfort zone. Um, it's, it's just, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. And it's very new, but it's not a bad thing. Um, and then the other, you know, it's like this person just needs to stop letting these toxic, shallow people define them and stop letting the drugs or the addictions or whatever. It's like they've built a whole personality that isn't really them 
around those those things, those lower vibrational things, and they're they're so used to it, they identify with it at this point. So it's like it has to be, there has to be that tower moment where that's like removed, where this person can rebuild. And there is that stage of being kind of in limbo where you're re rebuilding yourself, where you're finding out what really resonates with you, who you really are, who you want to be, um, making those decisions for yourself and not letting society or, or fake friends or whoever block you from, you know, deciding for yourself what you want to do in life and who you want to be. And I think just the things we already talked about, like this person also needs to understand that they're, if anything, I feel like there's going to be more passion in their life because there's going to be more intensity, more emotional depth. They're going to get in tune with that side of themselves. And so they're going to be able to see that in other people. They're going to be able to draw in the right people. They're going to be able to, um, to have like just deeper connections, more passionate connections, more open, honest, vulnerable connections, like just better quality friendships and romantic relationships all around. But I feel like this person's just afraid of boredom. They're like, well, what if I quit and like, I'm just bored with life and nothing's going on. It's like, no one's asking you to have a boring, normal life. No one is asking that like, just work on the addiction, whatever it is. And you, you know, you're going to, you're going to be surprised that like, cause it's almost like they have like the, how do I explain it? It's like, they don't have passion in their life right now. They have drama in their life, but they're seeing the drama as passion because they've never experienced true passion or maybe they have here and there, but not very often. So it's like, they have like this, this chaos or just this, this fake energy in their life. And they see it as passion, but it's it's not. It's it's just the drama. And it's like once they clear that up, they're going to have this new perspective on what passion is. And it's going to be so much more exciting to them. Because like I said, this person is afraid of being bored. But honestly, like true passion, true honesty and openness and vulnerability and like adventure, like real adventures, like, you know, going out and living your life and just being out there and doing whatever you want to do and being the person you want to be, that's going to bring so much more passion in. And it's going to be like genuine passion, genuine excitement. Like this person needs to recognize that their life is actually going to get even more exciting without the addiction, without the drugs, without the fake people. It's like going to create this whole new world for them. Um, and I'm hearing the Aladdin theme song, a whole new world. <laughs> um, so it's like everything just opens up and they're seeing it like the opposite way. Like, oh my God, my, I'm just going to be like, I don't, I don't know what they think is going to happen. Like they think they're just going to be like a, like they're going to fade away or their life is just going to, you know what I mean? Like going to fade away working a nine to five job. But it's, it's like, no, like you're still going to do all the fun things you want to do. Like, you know, every, everything's going to be so much more passionate and exciting than you could ever dream of. But you have to, it's like you have this cloud around you. Someone has this cloud around them that's keeping them, it could even be like demonic attachments even, but it's like they have this fog around them that just clouds their intuition, it clouds their perception. So it's like, and remember that too, like when you're in that kind of fog, just, I know it's hard, but like remember that there's so many different perceptions out there. You know what I mean? They're They're all accurate. They're all who's to say which one is real or which one is right. It's all perception. It's all about what's, what's right for you. What is your specific path? What works for me isn't going to work for you and vice versa. It's like th different things work for different people. So it's like, if you are in this energy, just remember, it's like, it's a temporary perception you're in. It's not your soul. It's not who you are. It's, it's just, it's, it's a temporary perception that needs to be worked through. Uh, for some, I do feel like this is an abusive relationship that someone's like addicted to this person and this person's like, you know, gaslighting them and telling them like, no one's going to love you if you leave me, like you're not going to find anybody else. Um, they're trying to keep you trapped, but you actually do have love. You do have someone, this could be like a, a friend of yours that wants to be more with you. And this could be, it could be romantic love or platonic love. Take it as it resonates. Could be a family member, but it's like, there's someone in your energy that wants to get you out of this situation. Someone that might even be like, um, like they're trying to, I feel like they're like doing research right now. If that, if this is your, if th this part of it is, is your storyline, I feel like they're doing research right now. Like, how do I get this person out of this abusive relationship? Like, what do I do? Like, how do I, 
how do I help them financially or how do I help them get out of there? Like what, what, what would I need to do to help them? So it's like you do have support. This person is trying to blind you from seeing it, but you do have someone here who has your back. And both stories could be for you. It could be both. Take it as it resonates. I see it as love, though. Someone's like someone's angel is coming in to help them through this, to help them get out of that. It's like you have to stand your ground with these toxic people, though. They're going to they're 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 fucking your whole life up. You, God, it's like you have, it's like this whole illusion of success that you have with these people and it's, it's not real and you know it deep down, you're intuitively, your soul knows it. How do I even explain this energy? It's like very surface level, lower vibrational success. But it's, it's a very low energy and you could have like higher level success. You could do, there's more in store for you. There's more that you could do w without these people around. There's, you could go to higher levels. You know what I mean? Like, let's say you're a chef and, you know, these people kind of support you, but you could own the restaurant if you were away from these people. You know what I mean? It's like you could go to that. You're meant for more than what you're settling for. But yeah, you have love and support coming in here. Tell me more about this. This is something you prayed for. This is like wish fulfillment. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. Let me see. Ten of Cups. Okay. This could be a family member or just like love. Whoever it is, it's someone that really does love you. Tell me more about this. Could be someone from the past, someone from childhood, someone that you were disconnected from. Maybe you walked away, they walked away, but they're like worrying about you now or they're wanting to come back around with the Ace of Wands. So it's up to you if you want to allow this back in. It could be a new person for some of you, though. But for a lot of you, I feel like it is an old person. Or it's someone who knows you very well. It could even be like a past life connection. I'm actually getting a message, yeah. For some, it's a past life connection where, like, one of you died in the past life. And now you have a new start. Like, you found each other. So one of you is like, oh, hell no. Like, I'm not leaving the person I care about, like in this karmic energy with these fake people and this drug addiction and whatever they're doing. Like, it's like they know you, but they don't know you. Does that make sense? It's like they know your soul. They know they're, they're like, I like, I know this person. I don't know how I know them, but I know them. And I know that there's more to them. I know there's more potential. I'm not leaving them in this situation. Tell me more about whatever we need to know here. It's someone who's very, um, just keep hearing like angelic, like the star and the ace of cups. It's like someone who's very supportive. It could be platonic, could be platonic, could be a king of cups for some. this hold on a second hmm. there could be a king of cups that wants to protect you from a king of swords there could be an ending that happened or is happening with the king of swords and this king of cups wants to kind of nurture you and help you through this yeah we got a lot of ending cards death five of cups ten of swords and we got ace of pentacles so it's almost like a like an ending with someone and a beginning with someone else king of swords can be very manipulative they can be very um this could be male or female 
there could just be someone blocking you from love, from abundance. And it's like when you let that person go, when you stop allowing them to block you, when you stop allowing them to control your life or you let that addiction go, whatever it represents to you, it's like then you have a new start. Ace of Pentacles. You have a new start with the King of Cups. You have a choice between waiting for someone who's kind of breadcrumbing you. Um, and this could be, there's different stories here. So like I said, this could be actually two people, but this could also be like, this could be like a friend and a lover, like someone who's like manipulative or, or like a group of friends. This could also be like a drug addiction. It's like whatever the energy is, it's like something that's like, it's like breadcrumbing you. Whether it's the drugs, friend group, one friend, a lover, a family member, whoever, whatever this is to you. The Six of Pentacles. It's an energy that's that's imbalanced. It's an energy that takes a lot from you. It's an energy that kind of just gives you the bare minimum. It's an energy that 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 just that breadcrumbs you, that keeps you in the dark, that keeps you stuck on a lower vibration. And you have a choice between that karmic path and you know, waiting for this Knight of Cups. And I don't think it's going to be too long of a wait. I feel like there is love there. This person may even be hidden from you until you make a, a choice. Because they don't want to let... Your spirit guides don't want to let whatever this is sabotage this. So like if it's a drug addiction, they don't want to let... You know, maybe the drugs... Like maybe if you're on uppers, they affect you and your personality and you come off like cold or something. They don't want to allow you to like sabotage this because of the drugs. You know what I mean? And like have you be cold or, or lash out at this person or something. Or um, let's see. Or if it's like a friend that's gossiping, it's like they don't want to allow this person to like get in and affect this connection if they see you together. It's like you got to make a choice. And I think your spirit guides want you to make the choice for yourself too. They don't want to make it for you. It's like it's up to you. The world is your oyster. Do you want to stay in this karmic path? Like do you want to stay with this this addiction, this friend, whatever this pattern is? Um, and this is something that you would already know that you need to move on from, that you need to let go of. Like you can already sense that there's like an off energy with whatever this is or like you're like even like feel your body, like tune into your body. It's like you're going to feel like you're being held back in some way, like you're being restrained by whatever. Tell me more. Tell me more how you can tell what the six of pentacles, who or what this is. It's a battle. Nine of Wands is like the wounded warrior. So there could be a lot of drama with this person, a lot of fake energy. Like it's always a battle. It could be someone you originally wanted something stable with. This could be some, like this could be you punishing yourself because you could have had you like an ex or something of yours. Maybe they're not even in your life, but you just need to forgive yourself for this. So you're not bringing this into the next relationship and like because you're sabotaging something good here. You have something else that's in store for you that's being sabotaged. For some, it's like what we're talking about, this person. It's like someone here feels like they don't deserve good things. They don't they don't feel like they can be loyal. They don't feel like they can be committed, but they can be. They're just they weren't before, but they could be if they wanted to be. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I get this energy of like, oh, you guys can't even see it. Sorry. <laughs> the world at Eight of Cups, again, leaving behind this karmic cycle, this, this, this contract with this person. And again, this wouldn't be like a good person in your life. This wouldn't be like someone who genuinely like loves you and has your back. This would be someone who's fake and shallow and you know you're being called to like evolve away from them or it'd be like a drug addiction or it'd be like an abusive partner like it wouldn't be someone who's just like I mean everyone has their flaws you know what I mean but it'd be someone that like you can tell they want to keep you at a certain level you can tell they want to control your life they want to control your schedule they want to they want to decide you know certain things for you could even be could even be like a controlling mother figure or something like that like that motherly smothering energy like oh I'm gonna decide who my my son ends up with who they date 
what they go to college for, what they, what, you know, something like that. It's someone that you need to, you need to stand up to. you got to walk away from this cycle. you got to complete this karmic cycle. Could be multiple things too. It could be more than one thing. Someone's going to try to hold on tightly to you. They're going to try to keep you right in your place. They're going to try to keep you right where they want you. And I think that you're going to say, no, fuck this. Like I'm, this is moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. I think that this person, if this isn't you, it's either you or it's it's someone that you that you're connected to very deeply. But I feel like this person's going to clarify this. I feel like they're gonna have an epiphany. Watch, watch if the tower card comes up. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it if the tower comes up. Queen of Swords, the Hermit, the Three of Pentacles. It's like someone like setting boundaries and like oh it could be a queen of swords that's having anxiety because she like a third party that sees you building with someone else with an empress she wants you to reject the empress she wants conflict in your life she doesn't want you with this empress she wants you to see it as a burden and let it go the tower, queen of cups, the tower. For some, it's like they want to keep you single. It could be a demon, honestly. Like, I'm, I hate to scare people, but, like, it could literally be, like, a demon that someone has on them that, like, is attached to them. And they're like, oh, I don't, like, they're jealous. Like, the demon is, like, straight up jealous. Like, I don't, I don't want this person with somebody else. Like, I don't, I don't want them to move on from me. I don't want them to raise their vibration and get me off them. You know what I mean? It's someone who like wants to cause chaos, wants to cause conflict, wants to cause drama in your life, wants to, um, I feel like this person is a big part of why you see drama as passion. If this is you, it's like, you have that like warped perception where it's like, you're because this person is all drama, but they seem like they're really fun and energetic, but it's like, it's not, they're not, they're, they're dramatic. There's a difference. Um, I'm not saying they're not fun at all, but it's like, there's something off here. Anyway, you have a choice to make. It's like with the lovers, that's like a, that's like a life altering choice too. It's a very big choice. It's like, do you want to stay in this cycle, in this addiction, in this pattern with this person, whatever it is to you? Do you want to stay on the lower karmic timeline or do you want to learn this lesson? Do you want to take the blindfold off, be honest with yourself and be like, no, this person doesn't resonate with me anymore. This situation doesn't resonate with me anymore. The drugs, like they make me feel like shit the next day. It doesn't, I don't want to be this person anymore. Like, you have to want to change badly enough to be like, fuck this. I'll, I'll do whatever I have to do to change, but I'm not doing this anymore. You got to end the karmic cycle. It's up to you. And like I said, you will have people that try to pull you back into it, that try to manipulate you back into it. Uh, people you did drugs with that are like, you know, like you stop messaging them and they're like, let's go do drugs. Like, I miss you. Let's go have, let's go to a party. Let's go, let's go, you know, and nothing wrong with partying, but I'm just saying like, you know, that's what I'm getting with like the drugs, you know, cause you can go to parties and just drink and smoke pot or whatever and not, not do hard drugs. Um, Yeah, this person's going to try to try to find whatever this is, this energy is going to try to wrap its claws around you and pull you back in. And you have to be strong enough to be like, no, I I don't give a shit if I have to tell this person I'm done with them for good. I'm not I'm I'm done with being that person. I'm done with this lifestyle. I'm done with this pattern. Um, you have a life changing choice. It's a big choice. You might have to wait a little bit. For a lot of you, some of your your love is like already there or it's coming in. Tell me more about this other this other path, what this other path would look like. Ooh, wow. Okay. King and Queen of Wands. <laughs> Power couple. <clears throat> the King and Queen Queen of Wands are both like the most attractive. I would say the most attractive. Um couple in the deck so this could be someone and this these could be two fire signs as well it doesn't have to be could be someone that you know they could have a lot of fire in their chart or they both have that fiery energy 
But the king and queen of wands, that's like a power couple. They're both very physically attractive. They're both confident. They're both strong. They're both passionate. They're both, this is like a kind of couple that like you go travel together and you have adventures and you have open, honest conversations and you call each other out on their, on your shit. Like you're just very real. You know what I mean? Like the king and queen of wands, like they don't let fear hold them back. They're very passionate, very adventurous, outspoken people. Um, power couple basically is what I'm getting. Yeah, you're going to have to make a judgment because you can't be juggling. You're going to have to make... Yeah, because if you try to juggle, you're going to be blocked. You're going to block yourself. New perspective, four of swords. Why the seven of swords, though? Could have different love offers coming in some might be kind of sneaky and some aren't justice you have like i get this energy of like justice and like epiphanies and like realizations though so use discernment though use your intuition when making these choices but there's there's a lot of energy here that's like trying to be cleared up if you choose to, to go down that path you know you have again with the lovers you have a very huge decision coming up to make um between two people or an addiction and a person you know, but well, whatever it is, though, I do feel like this side is like whatever all the energy we got on this side is blocking this right here. So if you choose to go down this path, you're going to have to whatever whoever this is over here, you're going to have to let go of it. You're going to have to clear it out. You're going to have to end whatever this is. Anyway, I'm going to put this out there. I hope this helped you guys. Um, I really appreciate your comments. If this resonates. Uh, you know, liking the video, sharing, subscribing, it helps get the message out there. So thank you guys for watching.